Whatever you want, check it out. Um, it should be should be a good deal. And we do have a 16 v 16 about to fire off here. We do have somebody jumping the gun quite early. And who was that? Rhapsody Goldfish. He is going back. He is going back to the deployment, and they're waiting a minute. So we're gonna we're gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. That's about where he would be. Uh, must be a driving. new guy. Got out there a little early. Um, but he did end up backing up. SWAT started burning before anybody else, so we're going to let them slide. This is an open season match, so these teams are just practicing out. And it looks like SWAT, unless I missed it, doesn't have anybody in the air. We've got Cootie Queen flying for ace right here. I'm going to jump in, scan in the skies, not seeing any planes. Uh, gets a beat on a tank, though. And... And some infantry You're gonna drop some arty down there and picks one up possibly maybe not but it looks like the battle is going to culminate over here on charlie so we're going to jump in with this gray saint more the leader of strike team six is going to be on the flag he's got a heavy tank the a7 rolling in there he's got booyah in to help him out but ace is moving in heavy with aggro remix Trevor, trevor simcoe and nugget the agate but aya He's going to grab one there. Agro Remix coming in aggressive, taking one out. Looks like he's going to clear up the other one. They're going to go head to head. Oh, and Agro Remix is going to win the battle, and they're going to get some reinforcements right after that. Gray St. Moore backs his tank up onto the hill. He's going to take the horse out. That's going to be, uh, oh, I missed who that was. But nonetheless, Ace is going to start securing this. However, Strike Team 6 has moved onto this back cap with a St. Shaman. But he is going to be in trouble right now. Dropping the mortars, though. Takes one out with a mortar. Battling out with the tank, but ultimately goes down. Euphoria TM from Ace takes him out. We're going to see some revives, and Ace is going to start securing this flag along with the Charlie flag. Strike Team 6. Gray St. Moore, the leader, is trying to move in and do something. He's moving around the outside. He's getting some help from Eye on the horse. So this battle is going to be important. They definitely need this flag. Gray running into some trouble, going down aggro remix. Mr. Cat Galag bails out, picks one up, but it's still not enough. And they have even more reinforcement coming out. We're going to see one of them get sabered. Naga the Augit going down. But Mr. Cat going from Trevor Simcoe and Cootie Queen doing some work with that plane. And Ace just coming out very, very strong right now, making a heavy, heavy push on Bravo as well. And Ace currently in the lead. By about 20 tickets. No, Foggy Tin, this is not hardcore. This is the elite division settings. Um, elite division settings is what these two teams are running. So we're going to see a couple hardcore moving elite. here. Oh, yeah. oh, dropping a host. Briz, thank you very much, sir, for that host. We're going to jump in here with him. He's going to be anchoring in. He's got one down below him. Oh, and it looks like... Did he go down? He did not. He's in trouble. He did get a smoke out. Or a flame grenade, excuse me. Hurt him with that flame grenade. Has one in his sight. Putting some round down. Looks like he's going to take him out. That's going to be Spring Samurai. 41 has another one out in front. But Rapsy Goldfish is going to drop him. And that they definitely needed that to continue to secure that flag. Strike Team 6 looking to do a little something different. They're fighting a couple battles right now. They've got a little bit of a battle going on over on the Alpha Objective. Uh, they just lost the Bravo Objective. The Red Team Ace is moving in now. And they are fighting on... Freddy as well. It looks like they did win the battle out on Charlie. But Ace still has a majority. They're going to be gaining in leads. And we're going to jump in with Potato Toy right here as he's trying to clear this objective out. He knows he's got somebody in here. Throwing some... Uh, throwing some C4 on no bells, you will. And doing some damage is going to take out two. Getting a two-piece right there. Trying to take out another one, putting some pistol rounds down on the artillery. I believe the tank did go down, though. Let's grab an overview. The tank did go down, and Ace is moving up with her own tank. All of Strike Team 6 is going to be moved out of there, and we're going to see a battle on mid-ground right now over by the Bravo objective. Tank versus tank and infantry. This is what it's about. Large-scale battlefield right here, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like Strike Team 6 is winning it out. They've taken the infantry out. They're moving up. Totaled scroll drops one taking a lot of shot those assaults are, are moving on both sides 
some really nice tactics here in this uh, open field battle. They are going to be in trouble. He's got a repair. Totaled scroll moving around. Takes both of them out. Gets the two-piece. Eliminates the repair. And Euphoria is going to be in trouble now as he has no more repairs. Heavy infantry, including assaults, moving up. He's going to try to back out of there as soon as possible. Waiting for a spawn to get on him. Taking even more shots. But look at this. We've got Mimo. Mimo with a huge back rage on the entire team. I think he prematurely fired. And he's going to be taken out. Engage Timmy on the back of the tank. Inside there with Gray St. Moore. They're pushing this tank all the way back. They're going to get two repairs. Very smart move. But we're going to see Sausage Machine take one out. Oh, and we're going to see two run right by each other. Gets a revive in the smoke. Gets two revives. Ace pulling out some sneaky moves. The smoke is real right now. Oh, and we're going to see some knifing going on. They're swinging at each other. Oh, but they both go down at the same time. Wick Wicky's going to come in, try to get a pickup on him. Does get a pickup on him. The tank goes down. Strike Team 6 is going to grab Bravo. And Ace is down to their infantry. They're going to start getting defensive on this Bravo objective and try to secure it. Nonetheless, even though SWAT won that very impressive battle between the two teams, Ace is still in the lead by almost 100 tickets right now. They do just have better map control currently. Um, and Strike Team 6 is looking to do something about that. They're fighting a battle over on the Freddy objective. They're fighting a battle on Edward, and they're working on Charlie. We do have one that is going to run into some problems. Mikey Bob has three contacts moving in. He is up in the crow's nest trying to stop him. They're pushing him heavy, and he is going to go down. Nogget the Ogget is going to get him with a nice shot from that autoloader. 8.25, and they're going to start securing the Alpha objective. Who do we have fighting for SWAT back here on Foxtrot? We have infantry versus a tank. We're going to see Bales, you will, jumping on that heavy, but goes down Euphoria, grabbing another tank, taking him out. Spur boom is there. Eight moving in on the backside, though. Looking to get a little back rage on him. Is going to move into the building. Mellow Moody sees him, tries to knife him, comes out with the pistol. Ace is going to try to take some cover. Goes back around, and Ace winning the battle. Pistol whipping Mellow Moody right there. But Gray St. Moore moving in with a tank. He's, it's, we're going to see another battle between Gray and Euphoria. We've also got a little battle in the windmill. Or maybe not. Oh, no. Bells, you will, comes out. Hitting the tank. Gray finishes it off. And they're going to secure this objective. So we're going to see a 3v3 cap right here. Strike Team 6 tries to make a move. And we do have an air battle going on currently. Mr. Cap Gallag getting chased by Cootie Queen 7. Going to drop low. Barely missing the tree. They are on his sixth, though. Cootie Queen lighting him up, putting some shots in. Laying on those brakes and just staying high. Oh, SWAT also bringing in a heavy bomber. You can see it in the distance, and he bails out of the vehicle. What a play right there. Who do we have? Infamous girl. Looking to, uh, looking to make a difference over here. On this objective, dropping one right there. Sausage Machine going down. Eight's going to spawn in on her. And they're going to start securing the Freddy objective out from under. Strike Team 6. And there you have it. Ace is going to secure up that Freddy flag, and that is going to give them a huge defensive line across the map. If you look, ladies and gentlemen, they're going to be holding Delta. They're also going to be holding Charlie and Echo. If they can create a line right across here from Delta up to Charlie and clear these couple of stragglers out of the backfield, they have a chance to create a huge beachhead. Now, there are planes in this map, so it's going to be difficult. We're going to see Spur Boom and Melly Moody moving in for this objective. We've also got a couple fighting here. We're going to jump in with Engage Timmy. He's got a cavalry kit close by. He's got some help from Sausage Machine, but also taking some fire as well. Looking to get a solid three cap, and they're going to be in trouble over on the Edward flag. We've got two areas of operation, Charlie and Edward. We're going to jump in with this as they're coming in heavy. Look at that car sliding in. T-Pav, the Drift King, Wiki Wiki moving in, and Euphoria in the heavy tank. It's going to take some damage. Wiki Wiki coming in, going down, but T-Pav getting a solid two-piece on Engage Timmy and Sausage Machine on the outside. Area coming in. Oh, and getting the, the cavalry sword on him. Smoke all over the tank. That's going to provide some cover with Aya and taking 
out two more that was actually euphoria taking him out and aya coming in and wiping him up what a play by it i don't i i guess it's a uh i uh 925 is what we're gonna call that one 925 coming in with a clutch play picking up several right there and doing work but again ace moving on this back cap We've got finders of keepers moving in. We're going to jump in on him. Has a couple out front. Looking to pistol whip one. Too far and going down. Mimo is going to take him out. We're going to jump in with Mimo. See how Mimo does. Has another one up front. Oh, takes yet another one down. Mimo on a two-piece. Picking up Mikey Bob. And they are going to start securing the alpha flag. So, again, Ace just, just making sure that they, uh, that they control the entire map they have the majority of the flags that's the name of the game ladies and gentlemen the majority of the flag wins today a couple of infantry moving down the hill run into a tank they're going to turn around and say thanks but no thanks we've got money maker moving in it's going to catch one out of position picks up nine to five right there t pad moving up as well money maker grabbing another one engage timmy going down we're going to see the plane come come across i see pure blade down there getting a team kill with that motorcycle i thought that was a enemy kill i thought that was pretty nice we've got sausage machine oh on the anti-air but getting dropped by pure blaze and they're gonna start securing up the charlie objective looks like ace lost their foothold here we're in with explosive club on the alpha objective as ace is making another push with infantry and doing a good job aggro remix taking one out taking two out and they're going to start securing up Alpha yet again. And the battle is going to be on Charlie. Again, right now, Ace is ahead by a considerable amount of tickets. About 140 tickets right now. 9 to 5, making making their way back in here. But ultimately going down by TPAP. And they have got this on lock. There is a tank moving up. That's going to be uh, Mellow Moody. Oh, but look at that. The plane moving in. Cootie Queen with some nice shots is going to take out sausage machine and ace is looking to do some work we do have a 1v1 battle raging back here on the freddy flag actually a 2v1 we've got eight with ace moving in let's see if he can uh let's see if he can pull a clutch move right here and secure this objective for his team he's got two contacts not too sure where they're at he's gonna get a spot on one Oh, and drops one, so Ace only got one to deal with. Medic goes down. No bails, you will. In here, here's a cavalry kick coming up. Gonna try to take him out. Grenade's gonna land on him. He's gonna bail. Start putting some shots, but ultimately goes down. Mimo with a nice over-his-shoulder shot, and that's gonna be devastating to Strike Team 6 as they look to go for a solid four cap right now. They're grabbing Alpha. They've got Delta. They've got Bravo. This battle on Charlie is gonna determine a lot. They definitely need to bring the ticket cap closer. This is going to help out. Raps, Raspy Goldfishy moving in is going to take one out. Sausage Extreme going down. Wiki, Wiki, Wiki coming in, taking out another one and dashing all their hopes on Charlie. Strike Team 6 just gets completely removed off that flag. And we've got another 1v2 battle going on between Pure Blade. Pure Blade looks like he drops both of them and clears this out with, for his team. And you can see there he is low on health, but he did his job and clears out this flag. So they are not going to secure the Edward flag. Actually, they're coming back in. Is he going to be able to? Uh, is he going to be able to do it twice? We've got No Bells You Win and Spur Boom three for Strike Team Six securing up this objective with Spring Samurai moving in from the backside. Pure Blade's trying to do something about it. Getting, oh, it takes him out with some nice shots, but he's still losing the flag. And there you have it. Strike Team 6 is going to get a four cap. They definitely need this. They're not going to win this round. However, they are going to... Uh, Strike Team 6 is looking to close this ticket gap. We're going to see Potato Toy drops Medic with the shotgun. And there you have it. They have cleared off that objective. So Strike Team 6 is going to be in trouble yet again. As you can see, Ace just about 75 tickets away from taking this round. They're trying to burn the alpha objective right now. And we've got another 1v1 battle here. Oh, Cap! Mr. Cap Gallic pistol whip and wiki wiki over on the Delta objective to secure that for his team. They're also securing up Freddy, but the battle on Echo is going to be real yet again as we see no bells. You will. Mellow Moody and Spurboom moving up. He's going to be facing off against Raspy Goldfishy. 
And they've got a squad falling back to Freddy, so we may see it happen. Also, a player pro in there. Wick Wiggy's going to catch one out of position, drops one, goes in looking for the second one, and takes him down. Wiki getting a two-piece right there for his team, securing it very well. We're going to see Spring Samurai jumping in, getting right in on this, uh, on this tank, getting behind it. Throwing out some, uh, some ordnance, hurting the tank. Oh, but getting wasted. Player Pro is going to get a spot on him, drop him out, and there you have it. Strike Team 6 also losing that Freddy objective. Ace looking to make a move on the Alpha. They've been pushing it with the infantry all match. We've got Nogget the Ogget, Trevor Simcoe, Agro Remix, and Mimo moving up, dealing with two light tanks. SWAT putting a lot of their players over on this flag. We're going to see Agro and Mimo looking around. Looks like they've made it around the flank. Tay Awesome is going up against Trevor Simcoe right here. He catches on fire, goes down. Trevor's going to take him out. Mikey Bob chasing one down but getting turned on. Actually, Nogget the Ogget covering the back of Agro Remix, allowing him to get onto the flag right there. You can see him in the backfield. Booyah is moving up. Trevor Simcoe still fighting it out. Takes out Finders of Keepers. What a battle by these two teams right here as Ace comes in with a nice little rat squad getting in the back, doing heavy, heavy lifting for the Ace team. Coming up against three, and it's just too many. We are going to see it, Trevor Simcoe, go down. But Nugget the Agate hanging in there, sneaking around the tank. Mimo in there as well. Nugget running right into one. Tries to turn on him, unable to do so, but he ultimately goes down. Finders of Keepers, there's only one left. It's going to be Mimo looking to take out that tank. He does. Takes out Booga. Parachute coming in at the last minute. Five tickets left, ladies and gentlemen. A still pushing to the bitter end on this flag. Mimo topping the hill, taking one out. Tay Awesome rounding the corner. Mimo going down right at the end. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Ace is going to walk away with the first round. 500 to 334. So SWAT definitely has their work cut out for them in this next round. If you're just jumping in here, you are just in time. Swap Mikey Bob Tay Awesome Explosive Club Finders of Keepers and Total Scroll grabbing that top spot. But if you're just jumping in, you are just in time for round two of the first map here on the Hardcore League between Strike Team Six and the Ace Halls. So we're going to look at their stats right here, and then we're going to pop up some stats. So over on the losing side: Mellow Moody, Spur Boom Medic. 9 to 5, Mikey Bob, Engage Timmy, all grabbing those top spots. Uh, Mr. Cap Gallag and Finders of Keeper putting in some work for their team. Uh, on the winning side, we've got Cootie Queen up in that plane the whole time. Taking the top spot, Infamous Girl, T-Pav, Moneymaker, Agro Me Remix, and Raspy Goldfishy taking the top spots. But we've got Trevor Simcoe down here. We saw him putting in work 19 and 7. And look at Pure Blade. We saw him on Echo doing some work 13 and 2. Player Pro 16 and 5. So, uh... Uh, Ace did a really, really good job that round. And as promised, we're going to throw up a little information on both teams right here. Give them a follow. Let them know the Hardcore League sent you. Um, as without our teams, that's what the league is all about. Um, them jumping in here, being real professional. Be sure to check out our clips. Earlier, both of these teams came together, met up on the bridge, and gave a little salute for Veterans Day. We thought it was super awesome uh, just showing the love for the veterans here at the Hardcore League. Um, as we do appreciate our veterans here on Veterans Day. Without them, we would not be able to do this. Also, we have an upcoming event. Yes, indeed. It is going to be our dogfight tournament. And as said earlier, go right here over to eSports Tickets. Get you a free, I said free, ticket to this event. And you are going to have your chance to win one of five Battlefield 1 Frontline Packs and one Hardcore League poster. So get your ticket. It's free. We are going to be pulling from those ticket numbers to uh, to award the winners these uh, these frontline packs. So And you must be present to win. The Dogfight Tournament is going to start November 18th, 12 p.m. Central Time, right here on the Hardcore League. So be sure to tune in. And speaking of that, we're going to play a little, uh, a little promo video for you. Here you go.
And there you have it, the dogfight tournament, November 18th. Be sure to uh, to tune into that. Let's see here. Bump that up a little bit. Looks like my my mic is staying open. Testing. There we go. Now we're back on track. All right, ladies and gentlemen. As I said before, if you were just jumping in here, you are just in time for round two of the first map here on St. Quentin Scar. As you can see on the scoreboard right there, Ace taking the first round over SWAT. 334 tickets to 500. SWAT has their work cut out for them. We're seeing the teams line up. They will not be moving until the three-minute mark. And this is a 16v16 with the new elite settings between Strike Team 6 and the Ace Halls. Right here on the Hardcore League. Sponsored by Gamers Community. But be sure to check out Gamers Community. Again, you see it there. It doesn't matter what you're into, what game, what platform. They, uh, they, have, uh, they have something for you. They're going to be running some events here pretty soon, so be sure to check them out. Also, be sure to check out all of our social media. Give us a follow. We're all over the place. There you go. So what do you guys think of the match so far? What do you think, uh, what do you think SWAT's issue is? I'm going to have to say I believe it's, uh, I believe it's map control. Um, I, think they're, I think they're losing some gun battles here and there. And I think SWAT needs to play a lot more tactical. They need to be more defensive than offensive. So they've got to get a jump on them, and they've got to have a plan. You know, they've got to they've got to set set up some booby traps and uh, and eliminate some of their heavy armor pieces there in the beginning. And they've also got to be in the air. Um, that's another thing. We did not see them come out in the beginning with any air, and I think that is going to hurt them because that leaves Ace's air just to roam free and cause as much devastation on the battlefield as they want to. So, and here we go. We are actually going to see. Strike Team 6 coming out with a plane this time. Um, and I'm not seeing Ace's plane in the air just yet. They're actually bringing out two. Gray St. Moore is going to be in one. They just used one for a parachute. They actually used them both for a parachute. Not wise in my opinion. And here goes Cootie. Getting a two-piece right off the bat right there. And that's why you do not want to leave that plane in the air. Dropping two of them right off the bat. Oh, no, Great Saint Moore did not bail. He's actually still going to be in the plane. And we have another plane up. This is going to be Booyah. Now, Cootie Queen is moving in. Oh, looking to take out some infantry. Dropping some more bombs. Taking out another one. Cootie Queen, the only one on the board for Ace with three kills. Right out of the bat with that plane. And Strike Team 6 is going to need to, uh, to give that plane a little bit of attention before it gets too rough but strike team six out to an early lead and grabbing a solid four cap we're gonna see a battle culminate up here on freddy and over on the edward objective they're bringing up a tank to contest this infantry let's see what happens they do have one assault to deal with it but look at the squad bomb ace coming in strong right here raspy goldfish bailing out picking one up tay awesome and mikey bob are in trouble right now and they go down. Ghost Rider Blaze dropping him. And all you're seeing on the scoreboard right now is Ace. Ace is in blue this go around. Just dropping Strike Team 6. They're going to start securing that Edward flag. That's going to be a problem. And look how they flooded this Freddy objective. Really nice push. We're going to see Agro Remix dropping one right as he moves in. That's going to be Explosive Club. And they're going to be struggling. We're going to see Finders Keepers and Mikey Bob moving in. But they are going to be significantly outnumbered. Finders of Keepers. Another one moving in. Totaled Scroll. But they are going to have some problems. Total Scroll is going to find one out in the open, but going down from player pro in the back of that tank. Now get the Augit in there. Wiki, Wiki. Euphoria, Agro Remix, all in there for SWAT. Just dropping them. Finders of Keepers moving in. He actually picks up one, Trevor Simcoe. Explosive Club comes in. Tay Awesome moves in as well. They've got an entire squad in this building. They're coming out. They're picking up a couple total scroll drops. When Nagat the Agat around the outside is going to get a beat on Explosive Club. Oh, but so is the Aggro Remix. The tank is going to take out total scroll. Explosive Club in there. Nagat the Agat taking him out. Throw Aggro Remix dropping one. 
He's going to get dropped by Teosum with that knife, but Trevor Simcoe is going to take him out and ultimately grab that flag. And again, now Ace is back in the lead. They've got the map control, and they're securing the objectives. We are going to jump into this Delta objective. We're going to see a tank v. tank, Spring Samurai, or, yeah, Spring Siam. We've also got Mellow Moody, though, moving up in a St. Shaman. Going to take one out. Now, if you look, though, they do have a repair kit. We're going... Oh, uh, Spring is going to be in trouble. They've got two tanks here. They are losing the Edward flag, so they're going to probably send somebody back there. Strike Team 6 doing a good job of getting on those empty flags. Spring is in trouble, taking shots in the back. Got several moving up. Oh, and the infantry is going to go down. Euphoria takes him out. He's going to be in big trouble right now. Player Poe is going to pick one up. And T-Pav getting a limpet on it is going to take him down and get the two-piece. But Strike Team 6 grabs up Edward behind him, trying to grab Charlie. And we're going to see a little bit of a battle on Bravo right here. But going down, Potato Toy, Shotgun, and 9-5. to five, And that is going to secure up the Bravo objective, objective for them. So Charlie. right now, Ace currently sitting in the lead by about 30 tickets. Strike Team 6 looking to do some work. We're going to see an infantry push here on this flag. Eight is going to be caught out of position, but manages to skirt away. We've got a 4v2. Potato Toy comes out. He is going to drop one. That's going to be Spur Boom, but goes down at the hands of Booyah. Eight, the only one left. Going to try to hold out for his team. Let's see what he can do. We're going to jump in with him. He's going to pick up one right there. Tank it out. Spring Siam. Looking for more on the outside of the flag. It's a 1v1 on the burn right now. He's going to end up spotting one. Takes one more out, getting some help from Potato Toy, so playing it very smart. And this is the things that uh, that Strike Team 6 cannot afford. Oh, grabbing yet another one, eight with a three-piece. Doing some work for the Ace Halls right now, and they're going to start securing this uncontested. But again, Ace bouncing around, looking to grab up the Duff objective. They're going to be battling out on Alpha. We have Infamous Girl trying to hold off by herself. She is outnumbered. As a sniper kit, looking for some contacts down on the flag. We have taken objective. Here's one down below. Gets a no scope, does not take him out. Drops down in behind him. And is going to pick up Sausage Machine. Now it's even, but Strike Team 6 already owns this flag, so it's going to be a problem. We've got a tank battle going on right here. I believe that's going to be the St. Shaman. No, it's going to be the uh, the heavy tank, the, the land ship versus... And A7 just blowing that flamethrower out there. Nose to nose, head to head. Whoever gets some help first, they need some squad spawns on them. Oh, going down, taking a shot from distance. And there he goes. He's going to go down. Right there. What a move. But Ace, infamous girl, holding out for her team. Look at that on the kill feed. You can see that she got... She got a two-piece there to save the alpha objective, and they are now burning it. Engage Timmy is going to try to move back up on the back side of it. Uh, Strike Team 6 managed to move into the Edward objective. They've got some vehicles up on the Foxtrot objective, and it looks like it's stalemated right now. Actually, it looks like Ace may be taking it back. But again, we're going to see the infantry and the tank battle move up. Ghost Rider Blaze moving up on the Edward objective. See, this is where Strike Team 6... Should have wrapped back around and tried to uh, tried to secure that flag. They are grabbing the Freddy objective. They've got what looks like an artillery truck in here. Dealing with a lot of infantry, though. Agro remix in a prime position to take it out. Put some heavy shots on it. Oh, and ultimately going down, though. Spring taking him out with that gun just in time. They're going to start securing the Freddy objective. Nogget the Augit. Oh, stuck in the building. Going down at the hands of the artillery truck. But Trevor coming out with the crossbow and taking out the artillery truck. Nice play, and that was huge for them. Now we've got a 2v3 battle. Total scroll is going to drop one to make it a 2v2. They're going to move in and try to clear the building. Two on one, taking him out. Three on one now. Explosive club trying to do what he can, but ultimately getting dropped, and Ace is going to start controlling this flag for the Ace Halls, which is going to devastate Strike Team 6 right now. And there you have it. Strike Team 6 moving up in a tank right now. Tay Awesome taking another crossbow from uh, Trevor, probably. Cootie Queen coming in. 
Oh, we're going to be dropping some bombs. Strength Team 6 starting to utilize those planes. Mimo getting around the backside looking to drop the sniper. Manages to get it done. Sausage Machine going down. And Mimo looking to move in on the back of this tank. He's in a perfect position. Going to get some C4 down, and there it goes. Actually, those were landmines. Mimo with a clutch play. One man taking the tank out, and there you have it. Still a 1v1. We've got Explosive Club holding in here. Mimo moving in. Oh, going down. Explosive Club had the drop on him, but Nugget, the Augit and Agro remix still in on the flag. And they are going to start burning it in their favor. Going down, Nugget, the Augit clearing the flag. So Ace is going to start controlling that. And it looks like the battle has shifted over to the Edward objective. We've got one tank there, a Jeep. Pure Blade coming out with a solid two piece as soon as we jump in. Trying to hold off in there. They do have another tank moving up, but Pure Blade is going to move in and start securing the objective. A Strike Team 6 just completely moves off of it. Looking to engage a tank here. Actually catching in the back pretty well. Oh, but it's going to get pinched right here. We've got two tanks. Ghost Rider Blaze and Euphoria. Ghost Rider Blaze just spotting this tank, putting some flames in on it. It is going to be hurting it. Gray St. Moore is going to be in trouble. As he runs into this other tank head on, he has nowhere to go. Too many people around him. T-Pab getting the Limpet. Limpet taking him out. T-Pab with yet another Limpet getting a two-piece on Gray St. Moore and engaged Timmy, and they are going to go down. Rolling that tandem tank combo there is devastating to the enemy team. And the infantry battle is going to rage here. Actually, we do have another tank up and running. Tay Awesome rolling the land ship on this flag right here. Taking some shots. Oh, there it is. Cootie Queen in that plane. Dropping the flares and some bombs. Oh, aggro again. Taking him out with the mines. Aggro just been devastating. Let's jump in here and take a look. We see Infamous Girl on top. Holding down with that sniper kit. 14 and 1. Euphoria has not gone down. 10 and 0 right now. 8 right behind him. 9 and 1. We've got Cootie Queen in the playing. 10 and 2. Where's our boy Aggro? Who's just been tearing him up. He's down there with 8 and 5. But those 8 kills have been key. Again, Strike Team 6 trying to take the flag back. They're struggling. They've got heavy infantry moving in. And if Ace gets to 335, they are going to win the map, the round and the map. Or they'll win the map. Strike Team 6 could try to win the round, but they will win the map overall. As they will win by the most tickets. And Strike Team 6 is going to secure that. And uh, again, right now, about, you know, 100 and... 130 tickets or so ahead of the enemy team. Strike Team 6 trying to make a push here. Potato Toy catching one out of position, and they're just too stacked on Bravo. They are not going to be able to do anything. We're going to see Infamous Girl moving in. She's got one out in front looking to Pistol Whip. Takes him out. That's going to be Medic looking to grab another one. She's got one in her sights using the tree as cover. About to bounce around looking for that dome piece. Oh, gets him hurt. He's going to bail around the corner. Infamous Girl. MVP right now for Ace moving up, looking to take her flag back. It's been her flag all game. Looking to take it back. Oh, but going down, Mellow Moody getting the panic fire in on Infamous Girl, and she's going to get dropped, and they're actually going to move into Bravo as Ace drops a large majority of her forces back to this Edward objective. Got some sitting ducks in this building. Oh, going to catch one. Ghost Ride Blaze. Ghost Rider Blaze getting two right there. As they move in to try to clear out this flag, Finders of Keepers tries around the corner. He's going to get dropped by Goldfishy. Only one left. It's going to be Mikey Bob and getting dropped. Raspy Goldfishy. We did have one bail in. This is going to be Mr. Cap Gallag. I think he has one moving in behind him, and he doesn't know it. Oh, going down. Raspy Goldfish is cleaning up in that objective. And look at this. Infamous girl with her team is back on the alpha objective and securing it. Who do we got moving up? I'm gonna try to stop him. Mella Moody is gonna try to move up. Infamous, no doubt, up on the tower. He didn't see that shot. Or he just decided not to scope in. He's gonna get domed if he's not careful. And there it is, infamous girl from the tower. With the dump, he's taking him out. She's gonna have two more moving up from her right. I don't think she knows it. Looks like, looks like she's gonna be moving down to the Bravo objective. We have lost objective Duff. 
Keeping an eye out for contacts. They are going to be snaking around the backside and starting to secure the alpha. We should see some ace dropping back as soon as that starts to blink. There it goes. It's going to start blinking. We're going to see if either one of these three players move back to try to secure that objective. They are not. They have a car coming in. It's going to be a uh, just a Jeep. Infamous girl looking to take some shots on it. Unable to do so, but Infamous Girl is going to roll back and try to secure this. We're going to jump in and see what she can do. This is going to be a 1v at least 4. That she's going to be facing as she moves up onto this objective. Has one in the car. Going to no-scope him right in the dome. Has one out at distance. Oh, dropping him with a nice shot. So she's on two. Finds another one laying down. Three piece. Four piece with the knife. And then she ultimately goes down. Mellow Moody. What a run by Infamous Girl. That is why she is on top of the scoreboard right now. Uh, because she come in there like a wrecking ball. And just started to do it. Sausage Machine. Grace St. Moore moving up. Getting the squad spawn on him. So we're going to see a little battle here on the Bravo objective. Now, it does not matter. Ace has taken this map. So they are going to uh, they're going to be ahead. And there you have it. The tank going down. Cap Gallag going down. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, and tanking some infantry to a 1v1 battle to determine who controls this flag. And right now it's 9-5 to five versus TPAP. They're stalemated across the buildings. We're going to get a spawn by Grace St. Moore. They're going to get one by Wiki. 3v2 battle going down. Wiki goes in for the knife. Gets the knife, but ultimately gets dropped by Cap. Another tank moving in. Ghost Rider Blaze coming in fast. Also getting some help from Moneymaker, Pure Blade, and Raspy Goldfish. We're going to see Engage Timmy moving up, trying to do something. Goldfish is going to turn, and they're going to trade off right there. But nonetheless, Ace moves in heavy. And uh, is going to secure up this Charlie objective out from under Strike Team 6. Strike Team 6 managed to grab the Alpha flag back. They are losing Freddy. They're grabbing Edward and they're making a push on Charlie. Who do we have here? Spur Boom going down 8, taking him out with that medic kit. And there you have it. We are going to see a tank moving up on this objective. Possibly tank the tank battle. That's going to be Booyah and a light tank. The infantry is going to be moving out, running into another squad. Wick Wiki getting behind him, looking to take out two, and does. Gets a solid two piece, one with his primary, one with his secondary. And they are going to be rocking and rolling. We're going to see Moneymaker moving out, sees the light tank, is going to hold his position. Oh, but the light tank saw him. Put some shots down. Now, when you're in a light tank, you can't get a spawn on you. So he's going to be rolling solo YOLO. We can get some help. Cootie Queen up in the air. Still causing devastation. Let's jump in and look at her putting shots down all over the place. She knows where they're at. Dropping some bombs. They looked well placed. We're going to see what happens. I don't think she got any kills with that. And there you have it. Ace walking away with the first map, and we will be moving to the second match, which is uh, Prize to Tour. And I may not have said that right, but nonetheless. All right, and Ace grabbing the top squad there, the Ace squad, so to speak. Wiki Wiki, Player Poe, Euphoria, and TPAV grabbing those top spots let's take a look at the scoreboard here so look at this Mimo grabbing the top spot infamous girl MVP for sure 32 and 3 rolling the sniper kit back raging the whole time working on those back flags wiki wiki moneymaker aggro remix and ghost rider blaze taking those top spots on the other side we got nine to five grabbing the top spot with three and eleven so he was doing his job Total scroll, finders of key for sausage machine, Mr. Cap Gallag, and Explosive Club grabbing those top spots. Mellow Moody with an honorable mention as he comes in with 11 and 7 to do some work, and we are going to jump into the next round. The next map, first round of the second map. We're going to give Ace another point. We're going to swap their position. We're going to update that. But we will be jumping into round one of the second map when we return right here on the Hardcore League, sponsored by Gamers Community. We're going to take a short break, and we're going to bring you a hype video brought to you by Strike Team 6.
Staggering out. Look at this squad movement right here. You don't see this in non-competitive gaming, guys. You don't see it. You don't see this in pub matches unless it's a competitive team in a pub match. SWAT, though, look at this. Coming back, they've got the Echo, they've got the Alpha, they've got the Bravo, and they're trying to secure the Charlie. Up two. The winners are Strike Team 6, and we are heading to overtime. All right, and we are back, ladies and just gentlemen, just in time for round one of the second map. In the 16 v 16 matchup between Strike Team 6 and the Ace Halls. The Ace Halls taking the first two rounds, so they won themselves that map. Um, and we are moving on to the next map, which is... Heavy infantry, I believe they, they do. There are some tanks on this map. No planes, however, so we're going to see how the teams adjust for that. We're going to see the ace halls in red. Strike Team 6 in blue. We're going to get those labels switched up for you right now. Alrighty, now also we want to mention these teams aren't going to be moving out until the three minute mark. You're going to want to tune in November 18th, 12 p.m. Central as we kick off the following. That is correct. Our dogfight tournament coming up. Be sure to go right here and get you a free ticket. That's right. It is free. Free ticket to the dogfight tournament. And that ticket will be your chance to win one of five Battlefield 1 Frontline Battle Packs that we're going to be giving away um, along with one of the Hardcore League posters. So go get you a ticket. It's absolutely free. doesn't cost you a thing. Must be present at the event to win. So um, go get you a ticket at your chance to win a Frontline Battle Pack. Those things are, are awesome. Um, you get a, a beanie. You get some pins. You get a, um, a dog tag, a keychain, all Battlefield 1 themed. Um, very, very cool stuff. Uh, check our Twitter, Facebook. It's got some pictures of those in there if you're not sure. Definitely check those out. And here we go. Just a couple seconds. There it is, the three-minute mark. We're going to have Ace in red. Strike Team 6 in blue. Or, no, reverse that. Oh, I got my stuff all messed up. How'd that happen? That's all right. We'll get a quick fix on it. So start, Strike Team 6 coming out a lot quicker than Ace this go around. We've got Ace in blue, Strike Team 6 in red. Swap up the scoreboard up there as well for you guys so you're not confused. There you have it. Strike Team 6 in red, and here we go. Siam's going to be in trouble. He's going to catch on fire. Got several infantry coming down this alley, and he knows it. Looks like they might have moved to wrap around the other side, but Strike Team 6 looking to come out and create a big beachhead. But the infantry battle is going to rage on Bravo, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Blue versus red meeting up head to head. Who is going to take this battle? Euphoria moving in cl close into the building. Player Pro, Finders of Keepers, has a beat on a couple of them, but ultimately goes down. Player Poe is going to take him out. 
Trevor Simcoe picking up one, and it looks like Ace has won this battle. They're also bringing in a heavy tank in there. And Wick Wicky, oh, taking out a couple, but going down from Cap. Cap still trying to hang in there, but going down Explosive Club, the only one left is going to be in trouble. Has a lot of contacts around him. On the reload, Tay Awesome moving in to help him out. He's got one on the roof that he knows about. Or that I just saw. I don't know if he knows about him. There it is. He's going to spot him out and get the kill on him. So they're going to hang in there. It looks like Tay Awesome still up. Oh, running right into that flame tank. Ghost Rider Blaze right on top. What's up, Tong Po? Welcome to the stream, my man. Uh, big battle going on right now. Ace is definitely in the lead. By about 20 tickets so far. Winning a huge battle over here. But we're going to see Melamudi rolling up in a tank. Ghost Rider Blaze is still up there in the tank as well. But they've got it pretty locked down. We're going to see Pure Blade take one out. And Strike Team 6 looks to be falling back. They're going to be securing the Charlie objective. They've got, uh, they've got somebody securing the Alpha objective as well. But we're going to see a 1v2 right here. That's going to be important for these teams. So let's see what happens. Got a spot on one of them. Got a spot on both of them. Misplacing some shots. Has one moving around on his right. Gets a grenade out. Oh, but ultimately, Potato Toy is going to round that corner with a shotgun and dash all hopes of taking that black. So Ace is going to grab at least a solid three cap as they've got Alpha, Delta, and Bravo up here at the top. Right there. Strike Team 6 trying to get the Edward objective, but they're about to be in a pincher move here on this Charlie objective. You've got a squad coming in from Bravo. You've got a squad coming in from the Alpha objective. Looking at clear house. Potato Toy grabbing another one with a shotgun. Cootie Queen dropping one or actually getting some help. And there they go. Look at Ace with the pincher move. We're going to see a knife right there. Actually, that was with that new club. I forget the name of it. Potato Toy taking him out with that new club. And Ace just rolling in like a well-oiled machine. We're going to see SWAT try to make a move here. Coming around the backside. Raspy Goldfishy saw one of them. Cootie Queen as well. Rounding out to try to take him out. Medic getting a back rage on a couple. Pure Blade is going to spot him and take him out though. And there you have it. But look at Mr. Cap Gallic. Grabbing a two-piece, I think, or no, just picking up one. Looking to grab one more. Oh, but getting shanked by Wiki Wiki. Spur boom running around, just surrounded, ultimately going down. Getting picked up by Cootie Queen with the little pistol that she keeps in her garter. Nine to five, hanging out. Oh, but getting bailed by Infamous Girl right there, coming out of the building. And Ace just dominating right now. What a play. Strike Team 6 split up and almost redlined right now. If they lose this Delta flag, they're going to be completely redlined by Ace. And by redlined, I mean they are not going to control one single objective. Strike Team 6, I know them. They're not going to go out with a fight. Looks like they're going to start securing this. We're going to jump in with Potato Toy. He's been doing some work rolling the shotgun. We're going to see how he does on this flag here. He's got one at distance. Trying to, uh, trying to put some shots in him. Taking some shots. Got one moving up. Oh, and Cap takes him out. But they have an entire squad. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Ace, look at them moving in. The two guys are securing that objective. Is going to get completely wasted. Ace currently has the uh, has the ability to run a death ball, kind of like they're doing right now, which means they just run a lot of guys from base to base. Strike Team 6 doing the same thing on their home base. They're trying to secure Bravo as well, and they're wrapped around the bottom. So we're going to have to see... What happens right here as they try to make a move? Who do we have moving in? Moneymaker moving in, trying to stop this Bravo objective. Let's see. We have lost see what he does. He spots a guy in the second floor of the window. Tries to get him with that pistol. But ultimately, missed the shot. The Obrez. Has some backup, and they are burning the flag. Both of those are going to go down. Explosive Club grabbing a two-piece. Who do we have here? Grace St. Moore, the leader of Strike Team 6. Moving up. Oh, and there they go. Grace St. Moore going down from Potato Toy. Getting dropped. Strike Team 6 grabbing this flag. They're going to be making a move. It's a 3v2 battle up here. Trevor Simcoe, Nagat the Agat. Trevor dropping one, dropping two. Single-handedly holding that lane. All by himself. 
We're going to see Melamuda get a revive. Aggro looking for the back rage is going to find it. Grabs one. Coming around to grab another one. Oh, runs right by him. But Trevor says, don't worry about it, big dog. I got you covered. And they're going to start securing the Delta objective. Potato Toy looking for a possible back rage as well. We've got somebody in a building right here. Who is this? This is going to be Sausage Machine anchoring for his team, I would assume, as Ace makes a death roll into this uh, Edward objective and doing a good job of it. There you go. You see him getting wiped out. Pure Blaze player Poe coming in, dropping several, and just clears him off that flag. Looking to redline him yet again. Infamous girl, here she goes, running the sniper kit. How's she doing this game? 6-0 and has not gone down yet, defending this Charlie objective. Just has got Overwatch, causes problems while they move on to the flag until she can get some backup. And she does have backup now on the flag. She's got contacts all in that building, and she knows it. He's trying to move out. Oh, one of them going down. Eight's going to pick him up. Has more in there. Oh, with a nice shot. Taking out Mr. Cap. And she is just doing her job. This is what it's about, ladies and gentlemen. Large-scale teamwork. You know, if this was 5v5, she wouldn't be able to cover this space, you know, with this Overwatch position. She'd have to be consistently moving around. And this is, you know, this is a sniper's job. And, and, you know, you would see them doing this in this setting, covering the flag, letting the rest of her squad move around. And they're trying to clear this anchor squad out of this building. Cap Gallag. Cap Gallag is actually going to drop one right there, get a revive. But again, this is why she is so important because she's got this Overwatch. She's able to put shots down on the enemies when they when they don't even know where it's coming from but it looks like they did they managed to clear them out and right now strike team six is in big trouble the red line they're gonna have to push out of their squad and ace is just going full aggressive right now and pushing them completely back strike team six looking to break through i believe they have been spotted trevor is going to get a spot on a memo is going to be moving aggro remix there's a communication ladies and gentlemen right there and that is all she wrote for this round. Strike Team 6 just getting dominated right there. 94 tickets. That is 400 ticket deficit that they have to that, that they have to come back from. What a performance by Ace. Very, very impressive. And alive. Good job, Ace. Good job. Eight potato toy, cootie queen, and infamous girl grabbing the Ace squad, and no doubt. No doubt, their their play style and position on their flags was uh, was very very impressive. We're gonna take a look right here. Euphoria grabbing the top spot, 15 and one. Moneymaker right behind him. Wick, Wiki Wiki eight. Trevor Simcoe and Nagat the Agat. Potato Toyed right below him. Player Poe both doing a lot of work. Ghost Rider Blaze as well. Infamous Girl eight. No, not going down the whole match. <coughs> Excuse me. Eight staying up the entire time as well. Pure Blade only going down once, and then Agro Remix 16 and 4. Just overall, really, really well done. On the other side, I uh, engaged Timmy Mello Moody, Cap Gallag, Explosive Club. No balls, you will. Mikey Bob grabbing the top spots for Strike Team 6. Strike Team 6 definitely struggled. You can see here we've got a couple 0 and 8, 0 and 10. Not picking up a kill is, uh, is definitely hurting them. Um, in this match and they've got they've got an up uphill battle ahead of them i don't see i don't see strike team six coming back from this but what i do guarantee is going to happen is strike team six is not going to give up and they're going to fight with everything they have and they're what they're going to do is they're going to try to bring that ticket count up to more than 94. um wow what what a match what a match what a performance by ace right there coming out super strong if you're just jumping in here you are just in time for round two of the second map in the 16v16 between Strike Team 6 and the Ace Halls. Running with our new Elite settings. We're going to throw up a few stats for the teams. Be sure to give them a follow. Let them know that the Hardcore League sent you and you support what we're doing over here at the League. We're going to switch up our labels so you guys know who is on what side. We're also going to change up our scoreboard for you. And we're going to run it. Give Ace a point. 94. That is a rough, rough deficit there. We're going to make sure it. And there we go. 
We are all lined out and correct. Again, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, three minutes until both of these teams head out and start fighting it out. We're going to see Ace in red. We are going to see Strike Team 6 in blue. But don't forget, coming up next weekend, we've got this right here. We're going to be giving away over $150 worth of prizes to the two players that take the top spot. We're also going to be giving away five battle packs and one Hardcore League poster. I'm going to play this for you, and then I'll tell you how you can win one of those battle packs, one of those frontline packs, or a poster when we return. That is right. That is going to be coming up November the 18th, starting at 12 p.m. Central Time. Here is a link where you can get your free ticket to the Dogfight Tournament. You get that ticket, and that is going to buy you a chance to win one of those frontline packs and or, and or one of those posters. Um, must be present to win right here on Twitch. So do not miss out on that. We've also... Want to mention our awesome sponsors over at Gamers Community. Be sure to check those guys out. Jump in their Discord. Again, let them know the Hardcore League sent you. Um, they're always excited to see uh, to see players coming from the Hardcore League. We have one minute till this rolls out. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social media. We are all over the place just for you guys. Check out the past matches on our YouTube. And be sure to jump up on our Twitter. And on our Facebook, we release a lot of information there. We're going to see both teams lining up on the map, getting ready to go again. If you were just jumping in, you were just in time for round two of the second map in this 16 v 16 between Strike Team 6 and the Ace Halls right here on the Hardcore League. Uh, 20 seconds both these teams are going to be rolling out ace coming out with a very impressive victory last round red line and strike team six at one point and uh winning 500 to 94 just almost a complete blowout be sure to tune back in this evening at 10 p.m central time as you see a 405 versus goat and here you go you're going to see both teams rolling out right now um, Ace rolling out heavy infantry. Strike Team 6 coming out again a lot quicker, utilizing the cars. Um, and we're going to see a squad bomb, I imagine, here on the Duff objective. Going to roll around the corner, and let's see what happens here. As a couple out front goes right by a tank, barely missing him. Oh, no, he gets him. What a shot by Ghost Rider there, taking him out in that car. They're going to start securing this flag. We're going to see a tank-on-tank -tank battle going down right here as both teams are meeting up on the Duff objective. Euphoria coming in, taking the guy out of the car, and you're seeing it just a ton of red. Ace just devastating strike team six right now as far as kills go. Haven't lost a man yet. There, one goes down. Spring takes one out with a tank, but they're battling head on. The thing about Ace is... Or Strike Team 6, they don't have a repair guy. There he is, Sausage Machine, bailing out, working on the repairs. But they've got their repair guys as well. Looks like they may even be running two repairs on Ghost Rider Blaze. So we're going to see him slug it out. But you see Ace pulling in some, coming in from Charlie to help take this out. The tank is surrounded. Booga is going to move in and take one out, though. Looking to take out a second one, but gets dropped by Player Pro. Player Poe, excuse me. And there you have it. That is how the battle is won. The repairs over on Ace's side is going to win out the day. They're going to start backing out. Medic moving up, trying to do something. This guy running away from him. They're going to get a squad bomb. He's in heavy, heavy trouble. A lot of infantry around him. Cap Galeg dropping one. The tank is back behind the bat. Building Kitty Queen coming in, cleaning him up. He's going to be in trouble, taking some shots. And ultimately, the tank is going to go down from a flame grenade. How often do you see that go down? Pure Blade dropping the heavy tank with a flame grenade. 
And look at Ace. Look at that line they've got created to stop him from getting through. Tay Awesome looking to make a break for it. He knows he's got somebody there. Oh, almost gets bailed, but ultimately gets no scope by Infamous Girl. Infamous Girl going down at the hands of Totaled Scroll, and it looks like they're going to make it into the flag. Spring dropping one as well. Trevor Simcoe on the flag, but who do we got? We got Potato Toy running around with his shotgun. Oh, but he's looking to club one. He's just wanting to club somebody. Going for it. Oh, but he's going to get turned on. Total scroll is going to take him out. They're just having some fun with it right now. Let's grab this overview and look at Ace again. Moving with a solid pincher move. Eight moving in from the south side of the map. Euphoria coming in from the west side. Eight versus Tay Awesome down there. Eight is going to win it with a solid shot of that Obrest pistol. And they're going to start securing this Charlie objective. Daz in here. Welcome, Daz. For those of you that don't know, as Sin Daz, number one sniper on Battlefield 1, gracing us with his presence. The man, the myth, the legend. All around cool guy. Jumping in here for this complete domination. Right now, you're seeing, you're seeing a 16 V16 with our new elite settings between Strike Team 6 and the Ace Halls. This is round two of the second map. You can check the scoreboard right there. Ace has been putting in some serious, serious work. And uh, just some really good squad work, communication, winning a lot of gunfights. And uh, they have got Strike Team 6 struggling. But Strike Team 6 being the team they are, they will never give up during a match. You will never see these boys walk off the field until it's all said and done. So they are going to hang in there. Still battling out. We've got a 4v2 battle right here. T-Pav's moving in, trying to clear it out. We're going to jump in with T-Pav. T-Pav goes down by 9 to 5. 9 to 5 is going to get dropped with a limpet. T-Pav's going to get a revive. They still have one in there. Grenade. Oh, almost taking him out. And there you have it. They're going to clear that objective off. Almost redline him. We're going to see Raspy Goldfishy getting a solid two-piece here on this Bravo objective. Looking for the three-piece. Gets a headshot, but does not take him out. Prophet on fire, jumping in as well. Look at you guys. I'm going to start. You're going to get me nervous while I'm chat casting now. We got we got the A-listers up in here. Getting all nervous while I'm trying to do this. What is going on, guys? I appreciate you guys jumping in. We do have another match going on at 10 p.m. Central this evening. Over at the... Uh, Right here on the Hardcore League. It's going to be 405 versus GOAT going later on this evening. So be sure to tune in and check that out. After this round, we're going to drop some information that you guys will want to know about. So hang around. And uh, at this rate, the match isn't going to last too much longer. You can see Ace just coming in. And they move in from both sides on every flag that they that they move into. Strike Team 6 manages to get the Edward flag. We're going to jump in with Cootie Queen. We're always watching. We actually have Mike Wazowski in chat, by the way. And here we go. Cootie Queen. Finding one up on the top floor. Trying to put a shot on him. Oh, finding a rat. That's going to be... Uh, who was that? 9 to 5? That was going to be Greg St. Moore taking out the leader of Strike Team 6. Cootie Queen 7. We saw her in the tank on St. Quentin Scar. Oh, but getting flanked. Engaged Timmy is going to take her out. We've got Potato Toy. Running the shotgun that he's been running all match. He's going to find one. Oh, but a well-placed C4 by Cap Gallag is going to take him out. And uh, Strike Team 6 is going to manage to hold on to Echo. They've grabbed the Alpha objective as well, and they're looking to secure Charlie. Now, Ace is moving a couple of guys over to Alpha, and Strike Team 6 making a smart move. We're going to see Mikey Bob going up against Euphoria, but he's getting dropped by Finders of Keepers. Terminal Lance. Moving around, Mikey Bob trying to hang in there. Moving in on his right, he doesn't hear him coming. We are losing I think he's up goals. above him in the building. And he's outnumbered right now. Gonna find one out front. Oh, going down, Aggro Remix is gonna take him out. And who came down there? That's gonna be Trevor Simcoe coming down and taking out Totaled Scroll to completely clear that flag off. And look at the death ball that Ace is pushing up onto the Edward objective. They're losing Duff, they're losing Bravo, and they're losing Charlie, but they are not worried. They've already won the round. They've won the map. And uh, so they're just having some fun with it right now. Again, rolling a huge death ball. And we're going to see a little battle meet up on this road right here. We're going to see 
a little bit uh tank versus a lot of infantry aggro remix moving in trying to do something memo on one side trying to do something as well Tay awesome taking out a couple including one of his teammates player poe moving up he's going to try to get that limpet but he's caught with the limpet out an explosive club is going to get a solid two-piece right there so ace's infantry suffering not get the aga the only one left hanging in there He's been doing well. We're going to try to jump in with him. He has one out front. Oh, no scopes. And is going to trade with Explosive Club. One more spawns in. Mimo again rolling the assault kit. Rolling the double barrel shotgun. Very interested. Has one at distance. Put some shots down. Oh, but ultimately takes him out. That's going to be finders of keepers. Oh, and he's going to get caught out of position. Total scroll is going to take him out. And they're going to start securing the Alpha objective. We've also got a couple moving back into Edward. We're going to see Pure Blade take out 9 to 5 right there. Eight's going to move in, take out Grace St. Moore and Cap Gallup. Eight getting a two piece, and they have cleared this objective out like a well oiled machine over here on the Edward objective. And that is going to go into the hands of Ace as Ace still has a commanding lead. But just as I said, Strike Team 6. They're going to hang in there. They're going to keep playing. And they have already surpassed their tickets from last round by almost 100. You can see there they only had 94 tickets last round. Got a little paddling from Ace. They went out to the to the tree in the backyard and pulled a willow switch and said, all right, SWAT, here you go. That first round on this map for sure definitely uh, definitely gave them, gave them a little bit of a paddling. Who do we have back here? Trying to hang in on the Edward flag. We've got one player. Not going to be able to land on him. Getting dropped by Potato Toy. That would have been 9-5. to five. We have one player for Strike Team 6. Trying to hold on to this Bravo flag. This is going to be Medic. 51-50. Digging the skin on the gun. He hears somebody coming. He knows he's got contacts on the flag now. We are losing objective butter. Throwing some smoke. Just regular smoke. Not gas, I don't believe. Let's take a look. Zero and five. So he is obviously an anchor here. Great Dane coming in with come on SWAT. <laughs> Why till Yachty? Why till Yachty? Thinking that pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah, SWAT uh but SWAT's not going to give up, man. They're only 120 tickets down right now. They are not going to give up. They currently are looking to almost get redlined right here. Uh, yet again, as Ace has... And again, look at this. This is this is what is winning the game, ladies and gentlemen. Not only is Ace winning gun battles, but every objective, they're pinching, they're hitting it from both sides, and they're creating this line here, and they're communicating. You can see this squad right here. All these people moving out, heading over to the objective, and look at this. Infamous girl grabbing her Overwatch position on the Charlie objective so that if something goes sour on Bravo and this team starts moving down, she has got it secured. Ace is winning by just pure tactics right now they're playing they're playing way better than SWAT is on a tactical level but they're also winning key gunfights when needed we've got aggro remix right here trying to solo a 1v3 we're gonna see how he does right here oh going down explosive club takes him out who else do we have moving up money maker moving around gonna try to do the same as a tank on position it's gonna spot one out it's gonna be a medic we have taken objective butter. Gives away his position. But catches two on the back. Grabs one. It's going to relocate. Look to grab the second one. Oh, but gets caught out of position by Booyah. And there you have it. But look at this. Ace again. Jumping in with a big squad spawn. Getting him in there. So we've got a uh, 2v3 situation. 2v2 on infantry. 3v2. 3v3 now. As Mimo moves up. Booyah taking one out. Trevor Simcoe returning the favor. The smoke is going to cause him a little bit of problem. Grace St. Moore trying to get around the backside. Cap Gallag drops one. Trevor Simcoe the only one left. Oh, no. Look at this again. The pinch remove. You see him moving in from both sides. Sausage Machine is going to catch him out of position. Take him out with that shotgun. Euphoria goes down. Cap Gallag still in there, but getting dropped by Terminal Lance from distance. Agro Remix moving in with help from Trevor Simcoe. Nogget the Ogget and Mimo. All moving in to secure that alpha objective as they try to redline strike team six. And that's exactly what they're going to do as this round winds down to an end.
All right. Strike Team 6 trying to make a move up this road here on the Alpha Road. But again, they're pinched. You know, they got they got Ace moving in from both sides. They're caught out in open ground. And this is not going to end well for them. Taking a lot of shots. Plus, they got a tank in there. Moving in with that flame kit. And we are going to see them just get devastated right here. And they are in real trouble. That flamethrower tank, that's what I like to run as well. And there you have it. The tank's going to go down. They're going to become almost completely wiped off the field. Almost completely wiped off of the field. Oh, no, they have somebody in the backfield. With this map, it's hard to see the, the little icons. They've got a couple people back on the Edward flag. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, in the 16v16 matchup between Strike Team 6 and the Ace Halls. Ace is going to take the final round, 500 to 247. Strike Team 6 bringing... Bringing up their score from the last round, but definitely need to work on their tactics and skills. We're going to throw a little information up on both teams real quick. Be sure to give them a follow. Let them know that the Hardcore League sent you. And tune right back in here at 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. Central tonight, as we are going to have another Hardcore League match. And let's take a look at the scoreboard. I know we had a couple of them jump out. Finders, Keepers, Sausage Machine, Mikey Bob, Mr. Cap Gallag, Explosive Club, and Tay Awesome. Grabbing the top spots over there for Strike Team 6. On the other end, we've got Agro Remix, Raspy, Goldfishy, Infamous Girl, Cootie Queen, Ghost Rider Blaze, and Trevor Simcoe grabbing the top spots uh, for their team. Trevor, 20 and 7. And look at this, Moneymaker, 21 and 6. Pureblade, 24 and 6. Putting in some serious work, Euphoria, 16 and 1. And as always, Infamous Girl holding down her spot. Third spot right there. We definitely appreciate guys coming up. We've got some information for you. An upcoming event you're going to want to check out is going to be our dog fight tournament. And during our dog fight tournament, we're going to be giving away $150 worth of prizes to the winning team. But we're also going to be giving away some stuff to our viewers we're going to be giving away five battlefield one frontline packs and a hardcore league poster for this event we're going to roll the promo for that and then i am going to tell you how you can win how you can enter to win those prizes for the dogfight tournament Alrighty, and there you have it, the Dogfight Tournament coming up November 18th, 12 p.m. Central. We've got a lot of teams signed up. Should be a pretty good event. I'm um, going to see some serious air battle. Now, to win those Battlefield 1 frontline packs, go to the link there in chat, eSports tickets. Get your free ticket from eSports. It doesn't, doesn't cost any, no purchase necessary to win. It's free to get a ticket, but you must be present to win during the Dogfight Tournament, November 18th, starting at noon. Be sure to tune in. And check those out now that we have our awesome awesome friends in here from profit and daz there you go there is daz be sure to follow him on his twitch we're gonna throw a link up there as well there you go check him out and also our good buddy jumping in from mr profit on fire definitely jump by check out their streams awesome awesome cats over there also sponsored by Gamers Community. So be sure to give them a follow as well. And as always, we're the Hardcore League. I am Deadeye. Be sure to tune back in here at 10 p.m. Central Time. 
to catch our uh, to catch the next match. That's going to be 405 versus Goat late night match with the Hardcore League. So be sure to tune in, and uh, we will check you guys later. Competitive esports done right. Brought to you by. Take a look at that teamwork. That is what it is all about here at the Hardcore League. They don't even see us, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Holy smokes. Can he do it? And that right there is how you dogfight, ladies and gentlemen. What a play. Tonight's matchup, girls versus boys, right here at the Hardcore League. Sponsored by Gamers Community. Hardcore League. The only place for large-scale competitive battlefields.